okay? Flawlessness. The idea of a primer is simply preparing your skin for makeup. It's like priming a wall for paint. Primer can be, for a face, can be as simple as a moisturizer. It can be as complicated as like pore filling in just the center of your face and using a hydrating primer on the outside of your face and outside of your face, the outer perimeter of your face and stuff like that. You should be happy with the way your skin looks before you put foundation on it. So if you have particularly dry skin, then you want to make sure that you're hydrating properly. The key to one of those like makeup artist bases is hydration. I used to use it as a moisturizer all of the time and I really only use it as a primer now. Uh, and this is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. As far as primer goes, it just like creates the most beautiful like glow, like feel to my skin. I'm going to take a little bit more to hydrate underneath my eyes. I'm also just checking these breakouts to see how hydrated they are. This one feels a little bit dry. I wanna make sure that all of those areas, all of the areas that need that coverage are well hydrated. The point of foundation, whether it's more full coverage or more lightweight, is to create a cohesive tone throughout your face. It's very normal to get some redness around your nose. I have discoloration like around my mouth. I tend to get like darkness down here. Two of the most important things are knowing your skin tone, <laughs> your undertone, um, and also knowing your skin type. For reference, if you don't know, and I know it's become like a total meme, I am very fair skinned. I have an olive, I have a warm olive undertone. So my skin tends to look kind of like a yellowy green. Now this was something that took me a very, 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 very long time to determine. Not all olive skin is warm. That's something that you have to take into account. Compare your skin to your friends. Whip out your arm, put it next to your friend's arms. It makes it a lot easier to see what colors are going to pop next to other people. So I've used this, this example before, but I have a friend who's incredibly pink, like super pink skin. She's also very fair. She's a blue undertone. When I put my arm next to her, it's straight up like yellow green. It's impossible for me to just tell you something and have you see the world differently. If you're able to swatch things at Sephora or Ulta, go into a store, swatch a bunch of colors that you think are close, remember what they are, <laughs> let them sit, let them oxidize, let them dry down or settle or whatever, go outside into natural light and compare them to your skin. So my favorite foundation, um, especially for like this kind of a look, is the Rare Beauty foundation. So I'm actually gonna put this um, out on the back of my hand. This is in the shade 170W and I'm using a damp beauty blender. It's just like my favorite way to apply foundation. I think the extra moisture just like really helps to keep it looking like skin. Why are they so rude? I shushed them so many times. I noticed that like I had some redness on my chin, so I started there. So then I'm slowly sort of like bringing it around the rest of my face because I wanna make sure that I have like a nice even application, but without applying way too much product. So I'm going in with small amounts and then once I have like that nice cohesive color throughout my skin, then I can kind of like reassess and see if I need to build up coverage. So you don't need to go in with a ton all at once. The biggest difference between a concealer and a foundation is that concealer typically has a little bit more coverage. I have certain areas where I've got breakouts, obviously underneath my eyes, I have dark circles that I need to take care of. Another way that people use concealer is using a slightly lighter shade to highlight certain areas of their face. You're trying to bring those areas forward. You're trying to make them look a little bit more plump. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my Rare Beauty Concealer. This is also in 170W. It's like pretty lightweight while providing like a lot of really nice coverage in areas where I essentially want to conceal. I'm gonna start off with that and blend that out with the top of my LC Cosmetics Velvet Sponge. And I like to focus this directly under my eyes in that area where we went in with the color corrector, bring it a little bit into the outer corner. So I'm basically like focusing on large areas of the face before I even consider concealing like any of these tiny little imperfections. You wanna start with like large areas and then work your way to small. So I have a tiny bit of like darker pigmentation around my mouth. You can see as I'm blending those products, I'm kind of like doing this. I like wanna make sure that I'm applying enough so that I get that nice like color change but I don't want to build up so much product that it's like heavy in that area. I wanna do some serious highlighting, okay? So I'm actually gonna use that same concealer, but in the shade 
uh, 100W, which I actually think is like the lightest one. So what I wanna do is apply a little bit of this right in here, where you can see like for my face, it gets very, very dark in here. So I wanna widen this area by lightening this. It's gonna blend onto the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna put a little bit of that right here. I'm like picking up the product and then I'm wiping it off because I do not want a ton of this, trust me. For my cheekbones, I want to highlight right there. So I used my initial concealer to conceal, to provide more coverage than my foundation and now I'm really highlighting. I wanna take it here. So accentuating the height of my cheekbones and then opening up this dark area of my eye. <laughs> can you see how much, <laughs> can you see how it makes, um, it makes the bridge look like it's going back, like this is all one plane. And it kind of widens the space between my eyes because I don't have particularly, um, I have kind of close set eyes. And then dragging that down into the hollow and on the side of the nose, once again, to make this plane look like it's all one thing, which helps make the nose look a little bit more narrow and hide the hollow of the under eye. A bronzer is typically going to mimic the way you would look if you had like a little bit of a tan. So like kind of around the forehead, a little bit around the cheeks, uh, just to kind of like add a tiny bit more shape to the face, but also add some more warmth. It just gives like the face a little bit more life. Contour, it is meant to look like the shadows on your face and you're using a contour to manipulate the shape of your face. Contouring. <laughs> Like, what's the point of it, basically? Like, what is it exactly? When we go in with a foundation, we're applying one color to our whole face, and skin is not one color, it's not opaque. So when you go in with your foundation, you're kind of flattening it by going in with your blush and your bronzer and your contour, you're sort of bringing life back. You're bringing color and you're bringing shape back. And that's really what contour is for. It's a dark color. It's gonna go back in space. It acts as a shadow. So I'm going to be using the Fenty um, a Matchstick in Amber. So I'm gonna start off with my jawline. I wanna push this area back in space. Now I wait until all of my like bronzer, my contour and everything is on before I conceal those areas that are poking through so that I have, uh, I can create like a custom concealer color. It'll also ensure that I'm able to conceal those without like removing coverage while I'm applying things like bronzer and blush and contour and all that stuff. So for this makeup look today, I'm gonna be doing a combination of creams and powders for each product because I wanna make sure that it's going to last blending lightly and keeping everything where I want it. But I also wanna make sure that I don't end up with any harsh lines because this is going to be like the bones of the makeup, obviously. So once we go in with our powders, there's no going back. It really helps to kind of like sit back and look, you know, like right there, it's kind of patchy. And different angles and different lighting is going to be very helpful for this. I also wanna make sure that whatever concealer I put down to conceal this area, blends with everything, right? So obviously I'm not gonna use like the, that white concealer color to conceal this now that I have this like contour shade here. All right, once you have everything down, then you can kind of like see if there are any harsh lines, go back in with your sponge and just blend around those edges. These lines here, they just kind of like point down. Some product on the tip of the brush. I'm gonna kind of like accentuate a smile. We're basically making a joker smile, okay? Don't worry, we're gonna blend it. Just a little French mustache. Joker smile, French mustache, whatever you prefer. So I wanna make sure that I'm keeping it lifted. So moving up this way. And since I, I get like a little bit of darkness down here, I can take a little bit of that concealer and just following this edge, kind of enhance that lift. All right, now I'm gonna do the exact same thing with my cream bronzer. And I'm gonna be using the um, NYX Wonder Stick in Universal Light. Another thing to remember is to hold your brush back nice and far. If you're holding it up here, you're gonna end up getting like really harsh lines when you're blending. If you hold it back here, you're gonna end up just being a lot softer on the face. All right, and then same thing, go back in with your sponge and just kind of like do blending around the edges. Make sure you're looking to see if there's any like patchiness. And I know it's like so annoying to still see this, but like, just be patient. We're gonna get to it. Blush might seem, I don't know, kind of self-explanatory maybe, you know, like you put it on your cheeks. 
I don't know. I don't know how you feel about it. Blush is supposed to kind of mimic the areas where you blush. So we do get redness in our face and typically like that happens on the cheeks. I'm talking too fast. Let me just drink more caffeine. All right, for my cream blush, I'm going to use Hope from Rare Beauty. I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand. So I'm gonna use the butt of my sponge to pick it up and then I'm gonna kind of like pat it on the back of my hand. So I'm not going in with way too much. And then slowly build this up on my cheek. Now this part can be a little bit more intense than you think you want it to be because we are gonna set our face with a powder and you're gonna lose a bit of that color. Placement of a specific product changes your face completely. It's kind of obvious, but it's also kind of like you don't really realize it or you don't recognize it until you actually make that change. Making tiny little changes depending on your face shape, like your specific Ziva. Can you play with this instead? <sighs> I can't remember what I was saying. Keep in mind your face shape basically. So I always use her as an example, but uh, Chrissy Teigen has these like really big round cheeks. And when she smiles, it's just like, you know what I mean? Like two tennis balls. It's where they place their blush. The highest point of my cheekbone is like this area right here. So when I smile, like it does get a little bit round, but you can see from this angle, it's like kind of flatter. So I'm going to place this on the apples of my cheeks. So right in the center. Obviously, the more you put down, the more it's going to kind of draw your eye to that area. So I sort of start on like, if I turn, that's like the highest point of my cheekbone. I like to start up there. So I'm focusing the majority of the pigment up here. And then as I blend, sort of diffusing it. So here it, wait, now I got confused. Okay, so <laughs> I got all turned around. So this is where I place it on my cheek, like right on the center of my cheek which is fine. It's kind of cute, right? But this is how I like to wear it. I like to wear it up here. So that as I turn my face, you can kind of see that it adds like more of a lift to my face. It kind of creates this like halo glow as if there's like a, a pretty color coming from this side. You know what? Now that I'm looking at it, this does look very like youthful and cute. Whenever I film these videos, I always learn something new and I always end up changing my makeup routine. So I'm going to use a slightly darker concealer. Um, which for me is the uh, Kosas O2W. Now this area was contoured, <laughs> it was bronzed, and I've got some blush happening there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of my contour shade from Fenty on the back of my hand. So I'm gonna do this. I think that's all I really need. I don't really need the, well, maybe I need a little bit of blush. So I'm gonna put a teeny bit of the Rare Beauty blush once again. And using a tiny little blending brush, this is the uh, shader crease brush from Samantha's collection with Sigma. I'm literally going to mix a little bit of those colors. I'm literally just going to pick up a little bit of each. Well, for my temple, I'm just gonna mix the um, concealer and the contour color. And then whatever is on that brush, I'm just gonna pop it. I feel like I need a little bit more of the concealer shade, like maybe it's a little bit dark. So I'm literally mixing a custom concealer. Like, isn't that such an amazing trick? Just saying. Now I'm literally just patting around the edge because no one will notice how thick the coverage is in those areas because it's literally like, I mean, like when you're looking at my face, you don't even see it. Now using that same brush, <laughs> uh, I'm going to use a setting powder, any powder that you like. And I'm gonna pick up a small amount of this powder on the tip of the brush. I'm gonna tap it off so I'm not going in with way too much. And I'm going to place this down on top of each of those breakouts. I wanna make sure that everything is just like super smooth. I'm gonna make sure I'm not applying too much product. I'm placing this around my nose, set the rest of my face. So in this area, just patting, I'm gonna go over everything. Um, I want to build up each of those products, those cream products that we went in with, with a powder. I'm gonna use my NARS San Juan bronzer. And I'm using a highlighting brush, essentially. This is from Morphe. It's super old. I don't even know if they still like have this, but it's such a good brush. So I'm going to swirl my brush in there, make sure I'm tapping it off. And I'm going to dust this all in the areas that I bronzed. Now, important, in the areas where I like had to apply that coverage, I'm patting rather than swiping because I do not want to remove that coverage. So I'm just going to pat in that area and buff in the rest of it. I'm gonna use the contour shade right here. This is like a very, very light hand because I'm just kind of like creating a little bit more of that definition. Remember to look at your face in different angles so you can make sure that there aren't any like patchy areas. This time I'm gonna start at the bottom 
in this area where I really like to push back, like I really want this to go back in space, and I'm gonna take what's left over and just kind of like bring it up, refine any areas. Remember you're using the lightest hand because you're just kind of like reinforcing what you put down. So today I'm going to show you how to get poppin' cheekbones. First thing that you want to do is kind of create your bone structure. You can see that the shadow, the natural shadow kind of does this a little bit. It's like kind of an S. If I have rounder cheekbones, maybe I would start here and then kind of go like that. Lightly blend. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go over that contour. So we think of the contour as like that structure. It's literally your bone structure. Now we're going in with some warmth to warm up the face but it's also kind of dark. So you don't wanna just place it pretty much anywhere. So I'm gonna place it kind of like in between where I would highlight and where I contoured. And then I'm slowly gonna kind of like bring it just above where I put that bronzer. So kind of underneath the eye, dust this all over my cheek. So I'm basically going to just like kind of cover where I put my blush, just on the highest point of the cheekbone. So right there. Huge difference, right? Like it's kind of crazy actually. When I look at this cheekbone from every single angle is just poppin. Urban Decay All Nighter De-Slick setting spray. Now the reason that I'm using a De-Slick setting spray is not because my skin looks oily. <laughs> it doesn't, it looks beautiful. But whenever I use like a regular setting spray or if I use the regular All Nighter setting spray, it makes my skin look oily. So you wanna make sure that you're really shaking it before you apply it and do some like test, test sprays first. How do we feel about it? As far as touch-ups go, I never really feel like I need anything. If I have any kind of like settling in lines, which like, you know, over time, like you do this, I have like a deep line here when I smile. That shit happens, dude, okay? So if you are like wearing a decent amount of makeup, you might get a little bit of settling. All I like to do is take a little brush, like something like this little guy. This is my Ruffer 14 brush. This is so nice for just buffing those areas. So instead of going in with a clean brush because that will remove product, sometimes I'll take just a teeny bit of powder with me or I'll just load this up with powder and then I'll keep it in my bag. And then throughout like the night, when I go to the bathroom, I'll just check. And if I need to like buff a little bit right here or a little bit in this line right here, I'm good. I don't know, whatever. Let me know what you want to see next. That's it. Just really quickly, I know that you guys love that I don't like have a long intro where I'm like, oh my God, like and subscribe and leave a comment and blah, blah, blah. But like, if you want me to stick around, you kind of do have to do those things. <laughs> Just saying, like your support would be greatly appreciated. <sighs> Crush my soul.